what we are going to look at today is um, everything you need to know about Binance P2P, okay? How you can use it to equally make money for yourself and how you can actually um, key into some arbitrage opportunity with the Binance P2P. I'm going to show you everything you need to know, okay? So at the end of the day, I will allow you to enable your mic and you ask your question. So please pay attention and follow um, accordingly, okay? So I will show you everything you need to know about Binance P2P. And if you don't have an account with Binance already, all right, I will leave a link in the video description. You can sign off an account today. So I want to believe you can see my screen, my phone screen. If you can see my phone screen, just give me a yes on the chat. Can you see my Binance app open on the phone? Okay, okay, all right. So, um, all right, all right, so you can see me. Okay, so um, before I jump into, into demonstrating everything you need to know where to pick and you know how to assess the Binance P2P and the rest, okay? A um, few things you need to know is that um, when we talk about P2P or peer-to-peer -peer on the Binance exchange, okay? We're simply referring to, we're just referring to a marketplace, all right? that enables you to directly trade crypto with one another using your preferred payment method, okay? Using your preferred payment method. And on the Binance platform, all right? On the Binance um, platform, you have multiple payment methods. Another um, explanation to this, to make you understand it better, is that Binance P2P is um, the easiest way or the only way you as an African, as a Nigerian, that you can easily transact between Naira and crypto. Let's say you have 1 million Naira, you have 2 million Naira, you have even a billion Naira, you want to convert that into crypto asset. The only way you can convert that Naira into crypto is going through P2P by buying from, buying crypto from those who already have crypto already, okay? And there are different payment methods, okay? There are different payment methods. Binance has more than 300 different payment methods with more than 70 local currencies, okay? In, in Nigeria, I can use my Naira to buy crypto. I can sell crypto into my Naira directly. In Ghana, you can use your Ghana CDs to buy crypto and you can sell into your Ghana, into your bank, okay, directly. Um, likewise, all African, uh, some African and all over the world, okay? with more than 70 local currencies, meaning that if you're in South Africa, you can use the South African fiat currency. If you are in, in, in Nigeria, you use our Nigerian fiat currency and it goes on that way, okay? So there are more, more than 300 payment methods which I'll be sharing with you in a moment, okay? And another thing you should note, I have got a chat from someone who said um, that, oh, what if I transfer money to somebody's bank account and because the person has seen my previous P2P video, what if I transfer the, my money to Binance, uh, to the person's account, okay, the person that Binance has given you to transfer money to his account, and then the person refused to send the crypto, what will happen? Um, I, I just told that person that um, there is nothing like that, nothing like that can ever happen. If it happens, the Binance customer support is there to help you out, all right? As I'm showing you everything now, you should be able to follow this and trade um, safely on the Binance platform. And there is what Binance call um, the escrow service, okay? What the escrow service does is to um, ensure the safety of your trade, of your funds, is to ensure the safety of your trade between you and the merchant you are buying from. Now, the way the escrow work is that, the escrow service on Binance work is that before I place an ad on the Binance P2P that I want to sell crypto, okay? I must be having that crypto, the equivalent of that crypto that I want to sell on my account. In this case, on my funding wallet. I must have that money on my funding wallet. Then whenever somebody initiate a buy that the person wants to buy from me, automatically that amount, the person, let's say you want to buy um, USDT worth $200. That $200 at that moment you initiated that trade, the $200 or 200 USDT will be deducted from my account, which is what the escrow service does, okay? So Binance temporarily hold that money for, for you. Whenever I finish, you finish sending your money, 
and you click and upload your payment details and you have proven that you have paid the money. If I receive the money from my end, okay, after a few minutes, the Binance give you up to 30 minutes or then about for the waiting time. After this period, if I confirm that I've received that money and refuse to re release the crypto to you, and you can prove to Binance that you made the payment, the crypto will automatically be released to you. So the person cannot all of a sudden decide to run away with your money. It's not possible. It is not possible. That is why I advise people that instead of calling somebody on phone and then going to meet the person to transact with the person, just use the Binance exchange. It is safer for you and it is more reliable. So it is not possible. All right. Except you do not send the money and then you cannot prove that you, you, you send the money and the rest, then the person's money can be returned to the person. That is what the Binance escrow service does for you. All right. And um, there is equally a live trade chat that you can use. Okay, you can chat the person you want to buy from before you can even go ahead to make payment and so on. So that is what we are going to jump into right now. For those of you who are just joining up, I said, if you don't have a Binance account already, okay, you stand to gain or get up to 10 um, BUSD as reward when you sign up with the link I posted on the chat, okay? If you sign up with the link I post on the chat, you will get some reward as a Binance user. All right, so if I proceed with the app, let me just go on with that app, okay? So all I just need to do is to assess my Binance P2P. Number one way I can assess that is to come in here to the P2P trading, where you see where it says P2P trading, okay? Or you come in here to where it says trade, okay? So when I come in here to where it says trade, where I circled here, I can equally assess P2P here. So when I open the trade, okay, at the top here, let me close this. So at the top, once I click on trade at the top here, I can equally assess the Binance P2P, all right? So I just prefer to use the button on my homepage, which is this one that says P2P trading, okay? If your app is not, if the interface of your app, a Binance app is not like mine, all you can do is you can click on your profile icon, okay, at the top here, okay, you can click on that profile icon and change it from um, the light mode because by default, when you download the app, you nearly download the app, you'll be having light mode here. So change it from light mode by toggling this off to the Binance Pro mode. Okay, then you can have an app like this or an interface like this. So I'll go ahead and click on the P2P trading and that will take us to the P2P trading interface. All right, so I do use the express mode. That is why you are seeing this, okay? But by default here, where it says express at the top here, you have three different ways you can actually buy crypto or sell crypto on the Binance exchange or Binance P2P um, trading marketplace. So if I click on that express, you see that we have the P2P, we have the express mode, and then we have the blog mode. Now, briefly, let me explain what this is. If I use the P2P, Binance allow me to manually search for the people I want to either sell crypto to or buy crypto from. I can manually search for them, you know, look at their prices, the limit at which they are ready to sell and the rest. But if I use the express mode, Binance will be the one to automatically search the next available trade. Here, I don't need to start adding filter of um, the amount I want to buy and the rest. Automatically, even if it is 1,000 I want to buy, um, Binance will automatically just search um, their, their database and then link me up with somebody that I can buy from. And all I just need to do, once I click on buy with zero fee, Binance automatically generates the person's account number for me. I just go ahead and make the proceed and it is as simple as that, okay? And then for the block trade, block trade are for big users, okay? Big boys in the market. Let's say you want to sell crypto worth 5 million, 10 million, 500 million and the rest, okay? If you want to trade that high amount of money, you have crypto that you want to sell directly to your bank account, then there are people who can make, you know, that wire transfer at once directly to your bank account. That is what the block trade is all about, okay? All right, so with that said, I'll go ahead and start with the P2P. So once I click, um, by default, this is where it brings you to. Now, if you look at this, I am on the USDT tab. It means that, and I am on the buy tab, okay? It means that if I'm going to buy USDT, 
all right? I'll buy from any of these persons you are seeing. Some are selling 614, one USDT, okay? For 614 Naira, 615 Naira. And if you continue to scroll down, okay? This is what I said that the P2P allow you to start searching for who you want to buy from. You see different prices. So the more you continue to scroll down, the more, now when it comes to buying, you have a lower price up, and then the more you scroll down, the, the higher the price becomes, okay? Then if I go ahead and switch to the sell, let's say I want to sell crypto directly to my bank, and then go ahead and switch to the sell, you see that it ranges on the sell here, sorry, on the sell here, it ranges from the highest to the lowest, okay? So those who are selling higher, meaning that if I want to sell crypto to this person right here, I can be selling my USDT for 617 Naira, okay? I can sell to this person at 617 Naira as well. And then just like that, okay? 17 Naira 50 Kobo, the first one there is 17 Naira 51 Kobo, okay? And um, 1750 Kobo, 50 Kobo, 26 Kobo, okay? This one is even 616. So on the sell tab, it is it ranges from the highest to the lowest. Why on the buy tab, it ranges from the lowest toward to the highest. And so on. So those are the first. If you want to sell those persons you see at the first um, page here who are ranking for sale, could be your best bet. Okay. You can sell to them and the rest. And then if you want to buy those who are ranking first there at the people, you can equally, you know, just buy from. Okay. Without stressing yourself looking for any other thing. But before you buy or sell, when you are using the P2P, remember we are on the P2P um, um, mode. Okay. When you're using the P2P, you are going to search for who you want to buy or sell to. But one thing you need to note or take a look at is the limit, where we have limit, okay? This person is ready to sell 1,500 Naira to about 3,815 Naira, okay? So if you're going to buy from this range, then you can buy from this person. Why the next person there is ready to sell from 5,000 to about 14,000? So you need to look at the limit. If you want to buy one million naira worth of Bitcoin, you cannot buy from this first person. You cannot buy from the second person. You cannot buy from the third person either, okay? So the more you scroll down, that is what the P2P does. It means that you continually search. If you want to buy, this person is from 145 to 145. This person is from 5,000 to 5,000 and the rest. So you will continue to search. But to make it easier for you, you will use what Binance call the filter, okay? where you see filter, if I go ahead and click on it. So I can come in here and say that, okay, I want to buy crypto worth um, 2 million Naira, for instance. So I'll go ahead and add my 2 million here, okay? So once I add my 2 million, the next thing I want to do is to make sure that I toggle this on, where it says only show ads from merchants, okay? This one now will show ads from merchant, verified merchant, anybody, all right, if you have a Binance account, you can actually place an ad. Once you get your Binance account verified and you have the authenticator activated, you can place an ad to either sell or buy crypto on the Binance P2P, all right? But there is a limit to your trading. But those who are mentioned who are verified by Binance, it means that Binance has endorsed these persons, okay, to do business with them. There is more or less like people they trust to do business with. So I'll make sure that I, I checked on it because these persons will never want to joke with their reputations here, okay? So they can always confirm your, your transaction faster. So once I check it, you see here, okay, this person is a verified merchant. This is a bash. This is a verified merchant. This is a verified merchant and the rest. So you see that these are all from verified merchant. And you see, because I type 2 million, okay? It is not giving me the limit. The limit this person is ready to sell Okay, it's from 1 million to about 3.5 million, 1 million to about 1.9 million, and it goes like that. Okay, um, 400,000 to about 2 million, and it goes that way. So I can decide to buy from any of these persons. The same thing happens if I want to sell any crypto to my bank account directly. I can decide to, you know, use that same um, strategy. Okay, filter it here, and then go ahead, confirm it, and then decide to buy from any of these persons that are here. All right. So I can buy or sell to this person, all right? So when you come in here to the P2P, if I go to my profile, here is my profile. Okay, Binance do give you, for those of you who want to sell crypto to your bank account, Binance do give you an option to add your bank account number. And the bank account must correspond with the account, the name on your Binance account. 
you cannot be using a different name on your Binance account and you will want to receive payment into a different bank account. It will not work, okay? So to add payment method, your bank account details into your Binance app, you go to your profile, all right? So when you go to your profile, you want to come in here to where it says payment methods, okay? So you go ahead and click on the payment method. And here I have a payment method already. If you don't have one, you just go ahead and click on add a new payment method, okay? So if I click on that, then you select the type of payment method you want to add. In this case, it's bank transfer. So I click on bank transfer. And when I click on bank transfer, you can add every other details like your account name, your account bank, bank account name and the rest, but you cannot change this name. So the name must always be the name you verify the Binance account with. So if the name on your bank account is not the same with this, you may be having an issue when you are transacting with the Binance P2P. So it must correspond, okay? Because when Binance show your details to the person who want to buy from you or who want to sell to you, um, those details must correspond, okay? So that is how you add your bank account details so that whenever you click on sell here, automatically Binance shows your bank account details which you have added to the person who is buying from you and the person does the transaction directly to you, okay? And you go ahead and approve. Once they, they do that, you go ahead and approve that, okay, you have received the payment because when the person makes payment, when the person marks that I've paid, Binance will notify you. So you just go ahead once you have received the alert, you have confirmed that the money is your account, you go ahead and confirm that, okay? So that is how you use the P2P interface, right? So if I want to use the express mode, this is how it comes. And I'll go ahead and choose what I want to buy or sell, okay? What I want to buy or sell, USDT, BTC, BUSD, BNB, Ethereum, uh, NGN and DAI. These are just the tokens that you can trade. These are the crypto assets you can trade on the Binance P2P. It means that if you are holding a different token like Shiba Inu, Dogecoin, any other token that is not listed here, you will need to first convert it to USDT or any of these that are listed here before you can sell it directly to your bank account. All right? So I, I just wanted you to know that. Okay, so in this case, let's say I want to buy USDT. I'll go ahead and put in the amount of USDT I want to buy in my own local currency, okay? So if I want to buy for 100,000, so I just go ahead and put 100,000. And all I just need to do is to buy with zero fee. This is another thing you should take note of. On the Binance P2P, you are not being charged anything. Whether you are selling or you are buying, you are trading with zero fee. Binance doesn't charge you anything, neither um, is anybody charging you anything, okay? except when you're making your transfer, depending on the bank you're using. Maybe the bank, will, there may be additional charges when you're making the transfer, but trading on the Binance P2P comes with zero fee, okay? All you just need to do is to click on buy with zero fee and automatically Binance will link you up to somebody you can make the tra this transfer to. The same thing happens if I want to sell. So if I go ahead and click on sell using the express mode, okay? I just put in, in this case, I am putting the amount I want to sell since it is USDT that is selected. If it is BTC, I will put the amount in BTC. If it is BUSD, I'll put the amount in BUSD. So if it is USDT, I'll put the amount of USDT here, all right? Now, when I want to sell, remember, I must first have the amount of USDT I want to sell in my funding wallet. Binance have different wallets for different purposes. When you buy crypto using the P2P, um, Bi Binance P2P marketplace, the money that you buy or the crypto that you buy there will by default be in your funding wallet. It means that if you want to trade features, you want to trade spot, you want to trade anything at all, you will need to first transfer the money from your funding wallet to your spot wallet. Then when you want to sell to your bank account, okay, let's say you were trading features, the money will be in your features account, or you are trading spot, the money will be in your spot account, or somebody send you crypto um, via your, your um, crypto address, the money will be in your spot account. So to be able to sell it to your bank account directly, you need to first transfer the funds either from your spot wallet to the funding wallet, all right? And that will be reflecting here because if I go ahead and type in, let's say I want to sell 1,000 USDT, okay? And I go ahead and click on sell, all right? Binance will tell you that insufficient form, please transfer form. Okay, in this case, if I want to transfer, let's say I have money on my spot wallet, I'll go ahead and click on transfer. Okay, so we'll now transfer from spot to the funding wallet. The funding wallet is the wallet for the P2P trading. Okay, so make sure you transfer. What do you want to transfer? Is this USDT or Bitcoin? You go ahead 
and then you select the USDT you want to transfer. Okay, if I click on Max here, I can just click on transfer and these funds will be transferred to my funding wallet. Then from the funding wallet, I can now sell it directly to my bank account. Okay, so that is how it works. All right, so if I go ahead and buy, whatever I buy here will be credited into my funding wallet. Now, if I want to use it to start trading on my um, spot or officials account, then I will need to transfer it from funding to the officials or the spot account. All right, okay, so, um, and then for the block trading, if I go ahead and open up the block trading interface, um, let's say I want to sell um, USDT worth a whole lot of money. Okay, block trade USDT, USDT. Um, I, I guess there is no buyer right now. Okay, there is no buyer right now. I've made videos previously where you will see some of these persons. Okay, let me turn this off and see. Okay, um, you know why no ad is showing up here? It's because I have a filter of 2 million. Now, now the block trade is anything from um, 5 million upward to up to 500 or even a billion. Now. So this um, filter that I have here of 2 million is actually limiting me from seeing that, okay? So if I go ahead and remove that and confirm, all right, you see that it has popped up, all right? You see that some trade has popped up. So I didn't see it initially because I have a filter set for 2 million there. So you see the limit that people are ready to sell here. This is from 5 million up to 600 million, 5 million to 535, all right? So the block trade is majorly for big uh, boys in the market, those who want to trust us. So whenever you sell, let's say you want to sell crypto worth 200 million. Yes, what Binance is simply telling you is that there is somebody available, verified merchant here, okay, that will wire that money directly to your bank account, all right? Somebody can wire that money directly to your bank account. That is what the block trade is all about, okay? So let me just go through the process of, you know, buying crypto. The same way you buy crypto is the same way you, 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 you sell, okay, to your bank account, meaning that if you want to sell, you need to have USDT to be able to sell. Okay, so if I go ahead and click on the buy, let me go back to the P2P. Let me use the P2P option. And then we want to buy USDT. So here on the P2P, we'll go ahead and go to our filter again. And then say we want to buy crypto worth 100,000, okay? And then we want to buy from a verified merchant, check that and click on confirm. So once I click on confirm, let me go back. Once I click on confirm, this first person here is selling at 616.60 um, Naira and is ready to sell from 45 to 200K. So I'll go ahead and click on buy, okay? From that first person, when I click on buy, I'll put in the amount I want to buy here. Let's say 100K, okay? So once I put in 100K, the next thing I need to do is to go ahead and click on buy with zero fee, all right? So once I click on buy with zero fee, Binance automatically um you know give me the details of this person so the next thing i need to do now to be able to make this transfer is to come in here to click on uh, make payment okay so when i click on make payment this is the person's name all right so as you can see here this is the person's name that is the name as it's showing on the bank account this is the person's bank account number and then this is the bank that the person is using the person is using kuda bank the person this is the account number so all I just need to do is to copy this little icon in front of the account number to copy it, okay? If I copy the account number, I can now go to my um, banking app and make a transfer of exactly 100,000 Naira, okay? Into this name, make sure that you verify that the name is this, all right? And then the account number is this and the bank is this, all right? Once I finish transferring the money, Okay, once I finish transferring the money, I can now come in here and say that I have transferred by clicking this yellow button that says transferred, notify seller. So once you click on transferred, notify seller, Binance will automatically notify the seller that you have made the transfer. Once the person receives the money, the person will confirm from his or her end that he or she has received the money and Binance will automatically release that crypto. Okay, remember, um, I didn't show you how much the 100,000 is going to give us in USDT, okay? If I, do I, can I go back, okay? 
So with the 100,000, we are going to receive um, about 162 USDT. Okay, that is how much we are going to receive. So once the person confirms that, Binance automatically releases 162 to me. As it stands right now, until I complete this transaction, this person has no access to this 162. The person cannot transfer this money out. The person cannot run away with it. That is what the Binance escrow service does for you. So nobody will run away with your money whenever you are transacting here, all right? And even you, you cannot play smart. Let's say you are selling and then the person has finished transferring your, the money into your account and you refuse to confirm that you have received the money. Once the person proves that he or she has sent the money with payment proof, okay, then Binance will automatically release the money to the person, all right? So if we come back to the payment page, okay, we can go ahead and make the transfer. Another option you can use there is the live chat section where it says chat, okay? Before I make this payment, in order to avoid, before I make this payment, in order to avoid delay, I can just go ahead and click on the chat, all right? Once I click on the chat, this is the automated message from this person. All I just need to do is to say, um, let's say, hi, are you available? Okay, so once I just type, are you available? If the person replies, it means that the person is available for this transaction. Why I'm doing that, okay, the countdown is counting, okay? Uh, Binance give you 15 minutes or, or they're about to make your payment. So this time is counting. Once it counts to zero, the trade will automatically be canceled, okay? So make sure that within these 15 minutes that you are given, you are able to transfer the money, all right? When you transfer the money, if I close this chart, once you finish transferring the money, make sure you click on this transfer notify seller. If you don't do this, then Binance has nothing against you because once that countdown finish counting, as it's counting up here, once it finish counting, the trade will be canceled. The trade will be canceled and there's nothing you can do again. So you must make sure that you click on this transfer notify seller after you have made the payment, okay? Make sure that you click on that for Binance to notify the seller. But before we make the transfer, I am still waiting for, okay? So the person just replied now that yes, he or she is available. Then we can go ahead and proceed in making the payment, all right? So once I click on transfer, make the payment, I just click on transfer, I have made the payment and then wait for the person to release the crypto. When the person releases the crypto, it will be in my funding wallet. I can then transfer it and use it to do whatsoever that I wish to do with it, all right? I want to believe that you understand to this point, okay? So that is basically it. And um, the next thing I want to do is to um, go ahead and equally show the same way I just did now. In this case, we are buying. is the same way you sell. So when you are selling, as I've showed you earlier, you must transfer the funds into your Binance, um, Binance um, um, account, okay, into your Binance funding account before you can actually sell, all right? So why I wait for this payment to be confirmed, okay? While I wait for this payment to be confirmed, there are a few things I will want to let you know. Um, let me just go back, okay? Are you sure you want to leave? Uh, okay. So um, why we wait for, for that to go on, okay? Why we wait for the payment to go on, all right? I can see my order here, all right? If I click on the order page here, you will see that I have a pending order here. Okay, I have a pending order and then for the orders that are completed, you will see it on the complete order, all right? So if it is paid, you will see there, if it is unpaid, you will see there and the rest. So you'll see all of that in your order page. But how do you make money on the Binance platform? You can actually apply to become a Binance merchant, all right? And be doing this P2P trading of selling USDT, BTC directly to bank account and buying from others. And to do that, I think you have you just need to have um, a thousand BUSD in your funding wallet on or there about in your crypto account, and then you can apply. You must have verified your um, go through all of the Binance verification stages, and then you can apply. And then Binance, once it is approved, Binance will give you a bash, and then you can start trading as I mentioned here. All right. Another thing I wanted us to look at on how to make money from this platform is taking advantage of the arbitrage platform. Remember, I told you that there are multiple payment methods, right? So if I click on this payment method, the Binance payment method here, 
there are more than 300 of them. So if I click on the payment method, these are all of the different payment methods that are available for you. You can do bank transfer, you can use cheaper cash, you can use transfer with a specific bank, okay? Go money, cash deposit to bank, okay? Um, all of these different options you have here, okay? We have faster payment, mobile, loop, all of these, okay? Depending on the region where you are coming from, all of you have multiple payment methods made available for you. So um, this is currently as a Nigerian. If I want to change right now to say, okay, I want to buy USDT in Ghana, and then I change from my NGN, which is my local currency, to the Ghana CDs. So if I go ahead and click on the NGN, I can come in here and change to, to Ghana CDs, which is this, okay? So um, I just type the GH as there, or you just, um, if you have access history there, you see there, so I'll go ahead and click on confirm. Once I confirm now, whatever is given to us here are the payment methods that are available in Ghana, okay? So these are payment methods that are available in Ghana, all right? You can pay with um, MTN money, all of these payment methods, you can pay with that. Whatever country you are, you have all of these different payment methods are made available for you. So in Ghana, you see that one USDT is selling for around 8.09 um, um, Ghana CDs, okay? 8.09 Ghana CDs and the rest. So you can buy, for instance, I think I made a video about this. Yes, I've made a video about the arbitrage, P2P arbitrage trading, where you can buy, if you get somebody who gives you um, Naira to Ghana CDs at a very good rate in Ghana, you can buy USDT in Ghana. Maybe have somebody buy USDT in Ghana. They send it directly to your bank account. You sell that USDT you bought in Ghana here in Nigeria at a very good rate. And you're making a whole lot of money from it. Okay. Another way you should look at that is this um, a particular arbitrage trading um, platform. Where, but the, uh, the, where the challenge is, is how do you get your Naira in, 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 to Ghana? How do you get somebody who can give you a good rate? Because some of these guys over there that are doing black market, they will want to give one Ghana CDs for, for 100 Naira, whereas the official rate is around 50, 55 or thereabout. Even if they want to make profit, at, at least they would have given you, let's say, at 60, at 65 or thereabout. Anything above 65, if you are giving me one Ghana CDs for 65 Naira, anything above 65 Naira, I won't go because it will not be profitable for you. So anything from 65 Naira below, for one Ghana cities, use it and buy you know, USDT in Ghana. Whatever you're dealing with, the person should transfer that USDT to your Binance account. Once they transfer it to your account, come in here to Nigeria and sell it to your bank account and you are good to go. You'll be making a whole lot of money from this particular means, okay? If you link from this particular means. And as I said earlier, the challenge is how do you get trusted somebody who, um, trusted person who can do that because Banks does not allow this inter-country transfer. If not, um, you have a co-bank in Nigeria, you have a co-bank in, uh, in Ghana. So you would have just done, let's say, from your eco-bank in Nigeria to Ghana and the rest, and it would have been profitable. But bank does not allow that. If banks do allow that, they will go out of business. <laughs> they will go out of business. So that is why we have to manually do this in most cases. And if you get someone who you can trust, and then get a good rate, then you are good to go. This arbitrage can pay you. You can do it in a month, in a day, depending on how flu, um, you know how um, um, available the person you are dealing with is. You can do this and be making a whole lot of money from it. All right. Mm -hmm. So, okay, Binance is warning me order will expire in five minutes. So, if I don't make that payment in five minutes, the order will automatically be cancelled. All right. And don't try to cancel if you have cancel, if you cancel orders in your Binance P2P up to three times, you'll be restricted from that day. Okay, you will not make any transaction on that day. So whenever you want to use the P2P platform, make sure that you are ready to make the payment. And once again, don't be afraid. Binance is in charge. You will not lose your money. Neither will the person you are transferring the money to will run. The person cannot run away with your money. Okay. So that is it. All, that is all I have for you um, right now on the Binance P2P option. So I will not allow you to ask your questions. If there is anything I didn't mention, if there is anything you don't understand, you can ask your questions, okay? And then I'll throw more light on that before we proceed, all right? So I believe you have gained value from today's uh, presentation. So 
before we go to the next one, yes, I'll take the question one after the other. Gospa, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question. Yeah, good evening, Mr. Leonard. I, I listened to your presentation. This, um, the last part, talking about how I can take uh, advantage of that big uh, opportunity, I, I didn't get it well. I was disconnected for a while. So I wanted to get on what you said about uh, connecting with somebody, maybe for example, in Ghana and all that. Let me hear that. Okay, so now what 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 I have actually tried out is that this is what currently we are looking at the price of you know the USDT. Okay, that is what we are looking at right now. This is what USDT is sold in Ghana right now. And when you convert naira with the official rate, the Ghana official rate um, um, naira to Ghana CDs official rate is around 50-55. 55 naira to one Ghana CDs. Okay. Okay. So if I do, let's say I buy, um, for instance, if I want to buy 10,000, for instance, let's say 10,000 uh, worth of uh, Ghana CDs, that will give me around 1,236 uh, 1, in the Nigeria, in USDT. Okay, now let's yeah. say you get, um, how do I do the calculation now? Let's say, what is my calculator? You get that same 10,000 Ghana CDs, okay? 10,000 Ghana CDs, if you do it by 65, let me use that, okay? Let me times this by 65 Naira, okay? That is about 650 Naira, right? 650,000 yeah. Naira in Naira. Yes. Yeah. Now, this 650,000 Naira would have given you 1,236 USDT. So that is assuming you are getting, you get somebody that can give you one uh, Ghana CDs to 65 Naira in Ghana. You would have spent 650,000 Naira to get 10,000 Ghana CDs. And this 10,000 Ghana CDs would have given you about 1,300 and 36, 200, sorry, and 36 USDT. Now, from what I showed initially, if I do, um, let's say we do 1,236 USDT by 616 Naira, that is one one USDT is selling in Nigeria today, by 616 or 617. You see that your 650,000 Naira is now worth 761,000, right? So the difference here is the profit that you have made. Now, you can imagine if you have bought um, like 50,000 uh, worth of um, Ghana CDs or even 100,000 worth of Ghana CDs, that would have given you a whole lot of USDT and selling it, okay, this is for 650,000. If you double this twice, now if I remove 650,000 from this, okay, so if I go ahead and remove, let's say this is what we got. Now, if I remove 650,000, which is the capital we started with. So you have made, in that particular transaction, you have made 111,000 Naira. So you can imagine doing this like two times a day, three times or there about, you'll be making this profit consistently. And as I said earlier, the challenge is always getting somebody that will give you, give you the conversion from Ghana cities to Nigeria Naira at a good rate because the people I do try, most of them will tell you 100 Naira, some will tell you 80 Naira. So I will tell you, you know, I think the lowest I've got from black market people is around 80 something, maybe 70 something. But anything above 65, anything above 65 Naira, you will not make profit in it. Okay. That is what I've experimented myself. And that is what I'm telling you. But if you do get it, it is worth it. And I believe you'll benefit from it. Uh, okay. But uh, uh, let me get it clearly. Assuming you get one word now. What is actually the means of you transferring to the person? Since uh, this international uh, uh, limitation. Um, th there is an option here that I showed you when I was showing you the different payment methods. Okay. Um, one was, uh, okay, that was on the Nigerian site. Cheaper cash is not made available in uh, 
Ghana, Chipakas, Chipakas. Okay, Chipakas is not available here. All right. That app actually gives you at a, at a good rate. Another way, okay, the one I tried that, though it didn't, it didn't work well for me, I had to stop it, is using butter. I don't know if you know about butter. Yeah, um, I've heard about it. Yeah, it's for Flutter exactly. Wave. So we did, if I have somebody in Ghana, I can transfer directly to the person's phone number and the person will get the equivalent of that money. Sorry, because it is a banking app, you will not be able to see it, so I will not be able to share my screen, okay? okay. So you won't be able to see the app. But using Bata is from Flutter Wave. I can transfer Naira directly, and the person gets the gets that money in their in the Ghana cities directly in their bank account or in their mobile wallet. Okay, but always you need to pay attention at the rate. If it is if the conversion rate is more than sixty five Naira to one Ghana cities, then it will not be profitable as just I have showed you here. So it has to be fifty dollar yeah. fifty five naira sixty five naira or thereabout to down to the official rate which is around fifty five or so, okay. And then another thing is that if you have yeah. a Nigerian over there that is doing business there, some of them are buying are, are, are ready to collect naira for you. They have bank accounts in Nigeria and they have bank accounts in, in Ghana. So you do transfer, okay, to their bank account in Nigeria yeah. and then they give you the equivalent of that amount in the Ghana cities, okay? So you just send somebody to go collect from them and say, if the person is into crypto, then they can send the crypto directly. So those who are benefiting from this are those who are businessmen and women in Ghana that comes to Nigeria to buy things, go sell it in Ghana, so they convert their money back to USDT. And then when they come in Nigeria, they are making like almost double of whatever they have had, and then take it back again like that. So if you have somebody in Ghana you can trust to do that for you, yes, it will work. Right. You see that there is no easy way of making money, but yeah, uh, yeah, see the, 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 the evidence of you making this money is clear in the, very clear showing in your face, but how do you go about it becomes a challenge. So it is specific people that is meant for it's not for everybody. If you don't have connection in Ghana, then um, this is not for you. Wow. And also, uh, yes, hello, Luna, Mr. Luna. Yes, sir. Please, uh, there is one, um, there's one phone I, I, I got uh, informed about. I, I don't know if you have, you have enough about it. They said it's, uh, it's specifically designed for uh, crypto purposes. In fact, that is even, it's a connection with miners. They call it a HTC. Um, HTC Exodus to phone, you know, that's once, once you have that phone, you just you connect, it's already connected with finance uh, account and what have you. You link it and you to buy, uh, to, with the official rates of finance. So, with that, one can be able to do what have you. So, I don't know if you have not about it, but you can do your research about it and know whether it's clear as, uh, as it's been said. All right, um, send me more details about that on, on WhatsApp. Let me do my findings because I'm hearing it from you now. Let me do my findings okay. and see how read that is. Okay, okay, okay. I will do. All right. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, Dan. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. My question is, as the Nigeria Bank is against the crypto sending, as in using your bank to buy crypto directly, so is it possible for you to open dollar account where you can transact dollar directly, where you can convert your naira directly to to dollar and use it to buy the crypto? not going for P2P uh, platform in Binance? Well, it is because of that uh, bank not dealing directly with crypto, that ban on bank dealing directly with crypto. That is why P2P is the only option. In as much as you're in Nigeria, whether you have a dollar account or you have a Naira account, in as much as that account is in Nigeria, you cannot use it. 
you can use it directly to buy crypto or sell crypto whatever in as much as the dollar account is in nigerian account you cannot use it so the only option is to use the p2p um, method and when you are transferring money to let's say just like I, I place an order to buy now if i'm transferring the money to the person i don't need to use crypto or usdt or binance okay you just put your name as the the you know bank normally require that when you are transferring that you put a, a remark or something so on the remark you just put your name and transfer the money you don't need to use crypto anything related to that so the only option as a nigerian is this p2p option that is the only way you can convert crypto to um to your naira okay or convert naira to crypto all right but that of uh, Ghana something, Ghana versus Naira, I'm still, it's still ambiguous to me. Um, I will make this available, okay? You need to listen to the, uh, maybe the replay of the video. It will be available on YouTube. So when you listen to it, you maybe you understand it. Subsequent meetings, I'll keep emphasizing on that. I made a video previously, but if you don't have connections in Ghana, if you don't have, Anybody that can help you exchange and buy, do the transaction over there and send the money to you, then this is not for you. Okay. It is specifically for those who have, you know, um, businesses or people in Ghana that can do this for them. Okay. So, so the person, if at all you get the connection, is it, is it a crypto that the person will send to you or USDT? Is USDT. The person is buying USDT, so the person sends USDT to you. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. You're welcome. Um, Mr. Manuel? Yes, sir. No, no. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't really think so. so I have a, a question that looks critical for you. you know, I did a transaction uh, about uh, two months ago. So, but not even with uh, anything. Someone just sent me money to my bank. I was blocking a six million. And uh, not have to call them for me to my team. So I'm not saying if I'm doing the same thing now, I want to I want to buy. Sorry, I want to sell my own crypto. Maybe what of more over five million, you know, and selling it directly to my account. I feel it to raise a red, red flag. So that's what I'm saying. Instead of why don't I use my uh, my corporate account? Let us send it to it. Does this does this stop anything? Or is there? This function because you made a, 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 a remark earlier on that uh, you can only you can only send the money to your own account that is registered with the, that is having a, 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 a registered name with the Binance account. So I'm now wondering, as I don't have that kind of account that can carry such uh, amount of money without raising any red flag, he said, why don't I send it to my corporate account? You know. Don't know that you understand what I'm saying. Yes, I, I do understand what you're saying. Um, basically, before you can carry out a, any transaction of that, um, you know, magnitude, it means that you don't you have an account that is um, free from limits. Okay, you know, some account like you don't mention five million naira now. Most especially some of these savings account, when that kind of money entered in your account, the bank will now yes. start saying, oh. Okay, they will block you. They want to, to ask questions and the rest. Okay, exactly. So you must have a corporate account. In this case, a corporate account will not be bearing the same name with yours. So you can contact the Binance customer support and tell them that, okay, this is what you want to do. How do you get that? Okay, because there is an option for a business account okay, that you can create a, an entity. I, I think that is what they call it. Like a business account on Binance that will carry your business name. You need to verify that with your business details. And so on. So with that account, you can transact that high amount of money. Except you have a current account that can that has no limit. That you know the limit is to some extent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which means which means it's, it's, uh, it's like price for buying. Imagine I want to buy crypto, what more than five million? I cannot send it from the corporate account. I have to send it from my own from my own uh, personal account that is bearing the same name with my. If 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 no no no. If you are sending already, just as I showed you before, I even made the payment. I've already chatted with the person. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can chat with that person and tell the person that okay, this is the name of my Binance account, but I am sending this money with my corporate oh, or my business oh. account. Okay? okay, and this is the name of the business account where you'll be expecting the money from. 
Mm. All right. So in that case, when you are buying is easier, the person can easily understand and approve the payment for you. Okay. okay. Yes. But when you are selling so that you don't get, you know, answering questions in the bank, you need to have an account that is limitless. Mm. All right. It means that you might have been dealing with your bank uh, so that when such money enters, they will not start asking you questions. Okay. Okay. Yes. Thank you. And I have one more question, but this one is highly unrelated to the topic we have today. I don't know that you can, you can take a short question. Okay. Because any you know any other question? Any other question related to this um, uh, P2P section so that I will just close it and then take every other question that are coming? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, um, so, Emmanuel, hold on. Let me finish then. I, I come back to you. Okay. okay. No yeah, go ahead. Okay. Sir, you made mention of limitless account. Like what account uh, is limitless? Not limitless as per se, but the limit on the, a current account is different, is higher than that of a savings account. Okay. It's not as if you cannot receive any amount of money on your savings account. Too. Even on your current account, there are some money you will receive. The bank will just automatically block the account and then call you for questioning. Yes. You understand? So um if i have a current account that i've been dealing with i've been doing business with i can receive 10 million 20 million and then the bank will not call me for any question okay even with your savings account once you have done a bigger transaction on your savings account and then the bank knows that okay you are using this account for business subsequently they will not be asking you questions let's say okay. money enter your account the first time once you can prove that okay this is why i got this money or this is how use this money you don't have issue with that subsequently your money start entering but it is always advised advice that you have a, a current account on a business account okay sir yes all right thank you all right any other question related to the finance p2p okay all right so thank you so much i'll make the video available on youtube okay you can go ahead and see the video um watch the video again and again and maybe in the next meeting we'll just specifically be dwell on the p2p arbitrage okay p2p arbitrage opportunity because aside country to country arbitrage you can equally do the one that is just within the finance platform where you buy and then go and use limit order to sell all of that i'll be teaching you that in a subsequent meeting all right so if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure that you do so that you'll be getting updated whenever videos like this are published on the channel.